Valerian has a reputation for being pretty easy to use. Most customers tell us they need little or no training to get their teams up to speed. But that doesn't mean we just rest on our laurels. Polarian 2013 delivers several key improvements that make things even easier on the user. Polarian's reuse of the Apache Lucene query engine has always given users an extremely powerful tool to query for work items. The downside was the learning curve. You needed to know Lucene syntax, IDs of Polarian work item fields, and field values configured in each project. If you didn't, you could invoke this graphical query builder. Easier, but plenty of room for improvement. Polarian 2013 delivers streamlined GUI-based work item queries. You now create query elements visually right in the query bar. Add or remove elements with a single click. When you add an element, you get a lot of help. You can pick something from favorites. These are what users have told us they need to query for most frequently. Here you can pick from fields and values you have recently queried. Polarian maintains this for you automatically. You may even find you no longer need to create saved queries. Just reuse your recents. No need to know the underlying ID for work item fields anymore. They're all listed here by name, including custom fields. Just pick the one to query on. When you pick a field, status for example, you don't have to remember the values for status configured for this project. Just pick from a list. The same goes for all fields. Linking work items in a document is even easier than it has been. Start a link with this new icon. Select the link role in this pop-up panel, click on the work item you're linking to, and you're done. Hold your control or command key before clicking the target and you can link to multiple items, optionally changing the link role each time. It's just as easy to link across different documents. For example, open a requirements specification in one browser window, and a test specification in another window. Start a link from a requirement. Notice the link detail panel appears in both windows. Go to the other window, find the test case to link to, change the link role if necessary, click, and you've linked across two documents. Again, Control or Command click lets you link to multiple items with varying link roles. This same linking interaction is also available in the table view of the work item tracker. You can link items within the tracker or from document-based work items to tracker-based items and vice versa using the two browser window technique we just saw. One more easy on users feature is easy approvals. We can't show you this one live as it's still in development, but it's on track for delivery in Polarian 2013. Polarian has had the possibility to approve work items for quite some time, but it's only been available in the work items table on the detail form, not really optimal for the many people who prefer to create work items in Polarian Live Docs. In Polarian 2013, assigned stakeholders will be able to approve items one by one or many at once using either the document or the table interface. They'll be able to approve an entire document at once. They'll have the possibility to send a document or a set of work items to other users for approval and they'll be able to review approvals done by others. These are just a few of the new things coming in Polarian 2013. We think we have some great features in the works, but we'd really like to know what you think. Our short early access questionnaire is at the URL shown here, and if you could spare us a couple of minutes, your feedback can definitely influence the final release. If you haven't yet, how about joining our Polarian 2013 Early Access Program for video sneak previews and other perks including access to pre-release builds. Sign up now to be among the first to see and try Polarian 2013. It's real progress from real people.